All right, there's been some interesting changes. The new Model 3 battery pack is going to have much higher energy density than what we thought it would. Uh, the earlier reports were wrong. New reports reveal that based from the Chinese Ministry information, energy density is, well, twice the improvement over what was recently reported. And I'll reveal what that increase is, but it's quite staggering. And it could enable a range in their EVs. The Chinese reckon the long range version of the Model 3 could have up to 700 kilometers of range. Now, I can't confirm that, but I'm going to give you all the information that I have so far. More information has just emerged in China about the new M3P battery that Tesla will be using, or we thought would be using in the Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model Y may in fact get a different battery pack to the Model 3. I'm going to talk about what that could be and release the information we have here on energy density and price for Tesla's new Model 3 battery pack. Now this is, a, this is basically a hybrid battery. It's a combination between LFP and NCA chemistry. It's absolutely unique in the industry. And I think you might be intrigued by what is happening. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. M3P battery or the LMFP battery. They're one and the same thing. Um, basically, it's a lithium ion phosphate battery combined with manganese and some other metals in there as well. So it really is a ternary battery combined with a lithium ion phosphate battery. It's really the only battery that we've seen quite like this. Now, companies have been trying to use manganese in their batteries to increase the energy density for a while now, but this is really a unique way of doing it. However, new details have just emerged that we hadn't heard before until about, well, within the last 24 hours from China explaining the cost and the energy density. Supposedly, CHL actually supplied Tesla directly with M3P battery samples for Tesla to test in June. Those samples were used in the Model 3 and also in the Model Y, and that's according to research published by Chinese brokerages, who apparently have, somehow have inside information from staff working at Tesla. The timeline mentioned in Kaltong Securities research cited by this blog and by Car News China says that Tesla filed energy consumption test results with the industry ministry that is in charge of approving new models for production. In other words, you'd only do this sort of thing if you're actually getting the batteries tested. You're actually saying to the Chinese government, this is what we're gonna use. This will be the battery tech we'll be using. We need to know the efficiency. Here's the efficiency numbers. Basically, you're making it all official with the government. Tesla filed 27 tests for the Model 3 and the Model Y versions. Now, I don't know why they did 27, but apparently that's what they actually did. Tesla, though, is not the only car company to be using these batteries. The Cherry and Huawei have a joint venture partnership. They make a sedan, and apparently that vehicle will be out within a few weeks with these new M3P batteries. However, we know some interesting inside, apparently, information from these brokerages. Yikai said a Tesla salesperson stated that the American car manufacturer has taken pre-orders, first of all. RMB 1000, that's about, that's about $200. You can put down a pre-order right now for the new version of the Model 3. It's expected in September for Chinese deliveries. Other countries will get it between October to December of this year. You can order these cars already in Europe, by the way. I made a video about that. Now, the Model 3 has started production. Apparently, they've shut down completely Model 3 production in China. I've already reported on this. I know I'm getting to the interesting part here. Just hold on a second. And this new version of the Model 3 is now being produced. They expect to produce 7,000 this month and more than that next month. I don't know how many are going to produce next month, but it should be a lot more than 7,000. These reports do align with what CATL earlier said. They said installations would happen in the third quarter of this year based on these reports, the MP3 battery will be 20% cheaper than NMC battery cells. So we'd heard that CATL said the battery pack would be the same price as LFP, but it won't be. It will be 20% cheaper than NMC or NCA chemistry, probably around 40% cheaper than what Tesla pays for its own 4680 cells or what it pays for 2170 cells from Panasonic around 30%, maybe 40% cheaper. But 
they will be 10% more expensive than what Tesla pays for LFP cells right now from CATL and BYD. That's the approximate number. We don't know exact figures, approximately 10%. However, the energy density is actually higher than what we thought. It's 20% higher than what the current lithium ion phosphate batteries Tesla use are. That's a big difference. That means the cost per watt will be 3% lower. So 3% lower in cost per kilowatt. That's a pretty significant difference. Remember, 20% higher energy density for the same weight. Some people say these new batteries are slightly lighter, in fact. So we're going to see some massive improvements. This could enable a range of 700 kilometers. That's what the Chinese think. The Chinese are saying they think the long range version of the Tesla Model Y will have a 700 kilometer range, which would be staggering. Is this possible? If the reports are true that where Tesla will be using a 66 kilowatt hour battery pack, in fact, a 69, but 66 kilowatt hour usable, that means there's quite a bit more pack size or energy density, one or the other. We're not really sure. No one really seems to know. But a 20% improvement with a lighter battery pack could theoretically give Tesla a range of, I would say, around 650 kilometers. That's a lot of range, and it sort of one-ups the Tesla Model S. I mean, why would you buy a Model S if you can get a Model 3, a new version, which is a significant improvement over the last version in many, many ways with this battery pack? It's going to sell like crazy. If you haven't already placed an order and you're interested, well, I'd say that now's the time to do so. Now, of course, I'm only referring to people in Europe and China where you can place an order for the new Model 3. Thanks for watching, but let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.